In the book of Genesis, at even we are katonda, this is now not mine. The other one was mine, but this one now. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 9, God commanded the water to separate from the dry land. Imagine Katonda. In the book of Genesis, it says, let water and dry land separate. It says, then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. That's what God said. But the Ugandan comes and says, God was wrong. What is, dry, what is water? I will turn into garden. God said this is water. And you say, no, he made a mistake. Have we not seen enough examples? Nantabu Uriwa, Yasabana Nabakumba. That's what we say in our language here. The one who does not listen to advice insisted on using a clay boat on the lake and drowned in the lake. Somebody created a boat from clay. And people told him that clay cannot make a boat. Don't, don't do it. He, he couldn't listen. He made a clay boat, he put it in the lake and drowned there. And that's how our people here in Uganda got a proverb that Nanta Bourjwa Ya Savalana Bumba. So the people would tell people, please. There has been major disruptions to transportation arising for the, from the damage of Katonga Bridge, which was washed away by floods. The floods also led to the eroding of wetland vegetation and gardens in the upstream parts of the catchment. This, this flooding was caused by a, a dam breach along the four kilometer stretch of the Kalungu Gomba Road in Bugomara village, Ruabeng a sub-county in Kalungu district. The water had progressively built up on one side of the road due to blocked culverts, creating a damming effect. This created a massive force beyond the capacity of, of the road, creating a dam breach, which led to a sudden release of a large volume of water that moved downstream the Katonga River. As the flood wave moved downstream, it moved with a lot of papyrus and gardens, causing significant damage to infrastructure. The interventions to address the problem of floods involve protection of water catchments and the general environment so that they perform their function of storing and releasing the water safely even when there is increased rainfall. Regular maintenance of water bodies and rivers so that they perform their water storage and conveyance function. Demarcation and protection of lake shores, river banks, and wetlands. To limit encroachment by settlements, construction of water storage facilities, agricultural activities and other development, and strengthening of the early warning systems and the enforcement of the water and environmental laws at all levels. People who damage environment do so at their own risk. Have we not seen enough examples? Nantabu Uriwa Yasabana Nabapumba. That's what we say in our language here. The one who does not listen to advice insisted on using a clay boat on the lake and drowned in the lake. Somebody created a boat 
from clay. And people told him that clay cannot make a boat. Don't, don't do it. He, he couldn't listen. He made a clay boat, he put it in the lake and drowned there. And that's how our people here in Uganda got a proverb that Nanta Bourjwa Ya Savalana Wabumba. So the people would tell people, please. In the book of Genesis, at even we are katonda. This is now not mine. The other one was mine, but this one now. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 9, God commanded the water to separate from the dry land. Imagine Katonda. In the book of Genesis, it says, let water and dry land separate. It says, then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. That's what God said. But the Ugandan comes and says, God was wrong. What is, dry, what is water? I will turn into garden. When I Uganda, Tebatia. Huh? God said this is a water. And you say no, he made a mistake. We shall get time and talk. All the death from landslides, floods, etc., come out of rebelling against God, rebelling against science, and rebelling against common sense. Water bodies and the amiga. Amiga is the Nyankwe word for the age of the water body. Are not for human settlement. They are for water conservation. <laughs>